there are a lot of people playing with spiritual things for entertainment while not understanding what's actually controlling them. <laughs>
but this is so pretty i also have a, a long sweater which i think is in my trunk i have to go look because i don't know where it is but i cannot wait to style this up i also have this one if you guys remember this is another like angora wool blend sweater very similar to the types of sweaters i was on poshmark looking for but this part is leather and then it has this beadwork and everything right here which is really pretty you can kind of see the color is really cool on this so this is one of those things that i thought about all summer long and i was like i cannot wait to style this back up i also have this blazer which i just chopped i didn't even bother getting it hemmed and it has this like little detail i was actually going to do this all the way around i got on stud number five before i got tired and i said you know what we're just gonna have those those five right there i can't do it y'all i really can't do it but it looks so cool on and it has like this little detail so i can't wait to actually style this up as well and then as far as this goes i did a video asking you guys if i should get the shoulder pads added to this and get it tailored to be turned into like a saint laurent style jacket and to be honest i saw this picture of this runway cropped trench that reminded me of this one that made me second guess getting this altered now i think i still want to do the shoulder pads in here to add more structure but we're gonna see because i actually started thinking of some really cool ideas for this and i have really cool leather jackets with shoulder pads so i don't technically need to do that but i don't have anything at all like this so that's for that we have the mango wool blazer which i have not put away yet and then i have this for love and lemon set which i love that has the skirt you guys have probably seen me wear this so many times this cute little treasure and bond long like jacket that i got from nordstrom rack this right here like look you can kind of see there's a theme right here <laughs> but this right here is this really cool like olive bomber and i took out the lining because the lining was making it just too thick for what i want and i love the way that it unzips on the side so i can change the silhouette a little bit um i thought th i guess there's no buttons here but um uh, was that ever oh no that's just a look it's not even open okay <laughs> but anyways the collar the fur collar actually comes off of this jacket and then this one i definitely had to pull out now here is where i'm conflicted and torn on this one there is this mew mew jacket you guys um i i will try and put a picture of it on the screen but sammy Mero actually did one too for sammy Mero vintage and i just feel like if gosh i'm it's like i'm so scared to do it but the mew mew one is like cut right here and it's a raw hem and this is like the exact color, the exact thing with the fur, like the exact shape and silhouette. And part of me looks at this and thinks about the fact that this would be so cool, cropped and shortened. So I'm a little torn. However, I have another version of this that also is like perfect. So I think I'm probably, even though this one is the more perfect one, I'm going to check out the other one. Actually, where did I put the other one? I got to see if that one's actually in my other coat closet because I'm going to try to see. But either this one or that one, I'm just going to cut across and do a raw hem. And this is another one I am so excited to wear. It's already cropped, which I absolutely love. I love the vintage shape of it. This is honestly probably one of my best vintage finds i love this so much i love the detail right here and it has that same pointed detail in the back and i just love this so much this is like one of the coolest jackets and i feel like i'm gonna have this forever because it's just so cool so i'm very excited to be wearing this somebody's about to be so mad at me in these comments but i had an extra black bomber jacket like leather and i literally just took it and cropped it and it's like the perfect fit and giving me the saint laurent vibe that i was going for because it already has the shoulder pads the lapels and like i literally just chopped it and honestly i'm about to wear this so much i know somebody's yelling at me but i love it and you know what better to switch up the stuff so that I wear it then have it just sit in my closet because I have too many of the same thing like I have two black after this one I have two other black leather bomber jackets so I could definitely afford to do it to this one yeah that just scratched the itch 
I love it. I actually cannot wait to wear this. I'm going to style this up this weekend. I will, go, I will show you guys the outfit. I love it so much. Okay, now we're going to get into the cupcakes. I have gotten way off track and way distracted. Welcome to the Azzy and Mommy cooking show. <laughs> what are we cooking today? Cupcakes. We are doing these classic white cupcakes with the cream cheese frosting. And we're just gonna keep it basic. She really wanted to put candy and stuff on top. I don't like candy on my cupcakes. Yeah. Um, so we're just gonna do regular cupcakes. And this is gonna be her first time helping me make like a cake or cupcakes or anything like that. No, you've never helped us make cake before. Well, let's go. Okay, so we have all the ingredients out. I'm gonna point you guys down so you can see what we are working with. Okay, so we have butter because I'm not gonna use vegetable oil. We have our eggs. eggs. And then we also need water, but we're gonna do the eggs first. So I'm gonna let her crack the eggs. So you need two, three, crack three eggs in there. Okay, okay, ooh, you did a good job. I'm surprised, here, put it right here for now. Okay. You have to, Grab it between the like hole right here. And then that's how you break it apart. Come on. <gasps> okay, good enough. <laughs> Put it right here. I mean, we have like egg, okay. Egg you. Yes. All right, this time do it again. Again. One more, more, one more, okay. Now do it. Good job. Okay. Do let's, throw them away? Well, we My are. Hands Hold are on. Sticky. Let's get this up. <laughs> My hands are sticky. I ran out of paper towels, you guys, so we're going to have to do it with tissue. Wait, right. not, oh. I know. Hold on. We have to Can do it with my hands? Yeah, go ahead. So okay. I just did this so it's better so you can kind of see what we're doing. Okay. So next, let's read the directions. Um, we're going to, to, okay, let's preheat the oven. We didn't even do that. Okay, 350. Um, and then, one cup of water. So we have to put the cake bird. mix. No, it's okay. We got to do the cake mix. So you can pour it in here. Let me just, okay, dump it in here. I'll in there? Yeah, just dump it in there. In there or yeah. here? Ah, yeah, dump it in there. I'm gonna wash my hands a little bit. In here? No, in there. All of it? Yeah, all of it. The so, butter? We're, oh, I threw the box away in the directions. Y'all see that TikTok where it's like you threw away the box, but you still need the directions, and it's like sitting in the trash like this, and the person keeps opening up the trash can to look at the directions? That's how I felt. So like a trash can? Yeah. <laughs> The first will be last and the last will be first. But in order to understand timing, you have to understand order. Getting things in order requires you to discern the things you were given at birth and the things you picked up along the way. Picking up things you were never meant to keep creates clutter. And in clearing up the clutter, you find the original things you lost sight of. There are certain keys that are sent for us to get. Sometimes we wanna take a shortcut by having someone get it for us and bring it to where we're at. But there are certain keys we can only get for ourselves. No one can get it for us. These new keys sometimes come with extra pieces that make the vehicle easier to open and operate. But in order to get the key, you have to rise up and get it yourself. This new key comes straight from the manufacturer with upgrades. Obviously our manufacturer, <laughs> the manufacturer of our vehicles, which are our ministries and the things that we're supposed to be doing is God. And there are some things that no one can tell you. Certain stories and ideas are not always what they appear to be. A photo only captures a moment while the story captures the essence. A photo can speak a thousand words, but that doesn't make any of them true. Clear the clutter in your mind so you can find the things that are true and be careful not to come to agreements without seeing the truth. Things you acquire along the way can be taken, but the things that you were born with will always be yours. There are a lot of people playing with spiritual things for entertainment while not understanding what's actually controlling them. 
it looks fun and it looks unusual so much so that we start to share it with friends and those connected to us not knowing that we are introducing them to bondage but the bed you make and the walk you choose oh i just got something oh my gosh this makes a lot of sense okay but the bed you make <laughs> this is so crazy I cannot believe I just got that right now. This is like a live drop of Revelation. I'm not going to share it right now, but maybe in the future. But the, the, bed you, <laughs> the bed you make in the walk you choose, you will be forced to lie in it. Whether or not you knew when you came to that agreement will not matter because an agreement is binding by law. Certain agreements get passed down through generations and our children and children's children are made to suffer for what we didn't know. Children are cherished and valued. So there is a level of spiritual covering they receive in circumstances that look like it should kill them. Damage is done, but not the damage the situation actually should have done. There are times God will protect the emotional and spiritual state of a person by keeping them sleep to the danger they are actually in, simply to preserve them. He will always send someone to pull you out and save you, but the question is, will you recognize them when they come? So that was day three. You guys can tell me your thoughts in the comments, but it's so wild that I felt led to read day three today after the dream that I had last night. <laughs> I wrote something on day three that was actually in something I dreamed about last night, which is pretty crazy. And that was just confirmation enough. <laughs> confirmation enough. So you're gonna put it on one. It's so loud. <laughs> you just lick those. the bowl me and my mom and my aunt used to always joke that sometimes food is so good you needed to take it to the licking room especially at restaurants and I always thought that was so funny because sometimes you really do you want to lick the plate because it's so good but it's not actually appropriate you can still have it here hold this take this to that plate and then I'm gonna start filling the cups okay so we're gonna Honestly, I think I might need two mm. cups. Two cups of what? Two cups of, um, two cupcake tins. Because you can only fill them up so much, otherwise it's going to overflow. Oh. Mm, that's good. Gosh, and to think I almost thought about making both boxes. That would have been so much. Can I Hold on. We got to try to let me do this part just because we can't get it on that the pan. Uh, you can help me with the icing. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. Wait, right? No, we're going to I'm going to put it in a bag so you can do swirls and decorate mm -hmm. it. I think so. Too. Well, we could decorate it with the icing. I'm just so want candy in it. I can put a heart shape. You can. But we don't have to put it on It's okay. We should have got edible food coloring. Maybe next time. The season isn't over. Hmm. Hmm? You're mean. You're making cupcakes and I'm mean. You are you need to understand the proper definition of meaning. No. <laughs> Let's see. No. I don't know. I don't know if I'm 
mean, I might not want to let you eat these. Mean? Am I mean? Yeah. Am I actually mean? No. Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, I think that's about enough. Can I eat the rest of frosting? No. Go finish um, eating that. You did? <laughs> All right, so we have the cupcakes. We're going to put them in, and I'll come back to you guys <laughs> when they're done. Mmm. Okay. Okay. The cupcakes are out of the oven. We've let them cool, so now we're going to ice them, and I'm going to let her do the, the honors. I'm going to let you. I'm going to ice one for you and show you, and then I'll, I'll let you ice a few, but I want you to do it this way. You see? Uh -huh. Okay. So you gotta squeeze it out on the other ones. Okay. Go to the next one. Okay, next one. All right, so we're gonna taste test? Yeah. Okay. Let's do, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna do this one, and you're gonna do this one. Okay, cheers. Now we taste test. Mmm, mmm, so good, right? Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will cooking see you guys. Cooking video. Our cooking video, cooking with Azzy and Mommy. Um, I, I will see you guys. Are you gonna get back up here? We will see you guys tomorrow. I love you so much. Bye. Say bye. Bye.